Hello, welcome to a Captain Planet episode. Do you hear this music in the background? This is Mighty. Mighty is from South America. Mighty is the planeteer with the heart power. This is South America. In South America, there are lots of animals to love. Here are some people in South America. Look how beautiful their clothing is. There's so many colors. Here is some nature scenes from South America. There's lots of forests and mountains and trees. And there's lots of animals that live in those trees. Please repeat with me. Toucan. 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 Parrot. 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 How many do you see? I see two. Monkey, monkey, monkey. There is one monkey in a tree. Armadillo, armadillo, armadillo. The armadillo is in the grass. Jaguar, rawr, jaguar. Jaguar. The jaguar is in the jungle. Llamas. 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 There are two llamas. One, two. No drama llama. Mighty, mighty, mighty. Hello, so we're going to be doing some arts and crafts. Get ready. So here we have the material, paper, eraser, crayons, pencil, pencil sharpener, markers. Okay, kids, so we're going to do a jungle drawing, and um, I have put Native American music because in Brazil, where Mighty is from, in the Amazon forest, there are still tribes living there. All right, so we're going to start off um, over here at this side of the paper, at the end of one side of the paper, the left-hand side, and we're going to be drawing... Three. some triangles look at that triangles without a tip and they're going to be going kind of at an angle to the right so it's going towards the right then when you have maybe six or seven maybe eight however big you want what you're going to do is now look you're going to do a U you see that U? And you're gonna make it big, and then you're gonna make it go like that. You saw, you see? And there you go. And then you're going to do, there you go. And then you're going to repeat it. So you're gonna do, maybe this is gonna look more like a V. So the first one is gonna look like a U. The second one is gonna look more like a V. And you're just gonna be making these U, V shapes with the line in the middle. There you go, UV, and what are we making here? Do you recognize this? Do you recognize this tree? It is a palm tree, which is very typical in tropical areas. So there we have our palm tree, and it doesn't have to be perfect. There's no such thing. All right, now over here, we're going to do a jaguar. So this is going to be like 
a D. Do you see that? And we're going to do two C's. One big C, a little C. Two dots for the eyes. A nose for the tri a triangle for the nose. A line and the mouth. Then we're going to do... It's kind of like a rectangle and we do another U. Then for the tail, there is the tail. And over here, look, these are the, the paws. You see that? Those are the paws. Now, jaguars have dots, but they have one big circle and one little inside. All right, there you go. And then we're going to also draw a llama. A llama is what they have in South America. Um, they use them for clothing, their fur. There is the head, two eyes, the triangle for the nose, the mouth, and then look. We're going to do two lines like this, and then the squiggly lines that we use for the clouds, we're going to do it for the llama. And then two, two sticks for one foot, two sticks for the other. All right, and then we're going to draw a little tail. And there we have a llama. Okay, now for the grass, the grass is just going to be triangles that connect look at that it's just triangles that connect all right now let's draw um it's a jungle so it has lots of trees let's see if i can angle this camera ah. all right wait there we go so on this side of the paper what we're going to do is that we're going to draw a line that goes all the way almost up and then we're gonna go like that and then like this and then back up okay and in the in the jungle the trees have plants growing on them so we're gonna draw a circle and what do you think we're drawing right here it's a flower and we're gonna draw some leaves and a weekly line, and this is called a vine. A vine. All right, the leaf. I hope you're repeating with me. Vine. Flower, tree. And the vine just grows all over the tree. Okay, now we're going to do a bird for this bird look over here is the branch from here we're going to go like this okay then we're going to do this is the claws so that's what it's holding on to it's, it's feet but in birds it's claws and we're going to draw the tail the tail is like a triangle you see this and like this and we're going to draw some lines. There you go. Now, over here, look. You're going to draw like a circle. And what is this bird? Are you starting to recognize this bird? And We're drawing more circles, making the body a little bit bigger, drawing some lines. It's a toucan. There we go. So this is a bird. All right, back down here. We need some clouds. So here's one cloud. 
a second cloud and a third cloud. One, two, three. Over here, look, I'm going to draw this and some lines. And what is that? It's the sun. And in this empty space, we're going to draw a butterfly. And look, this is going to be like an, like an M or a heart. And then another one on the outside. And there you have a butterfly that's easy to draw. It's a very big butterfly because it lives in the jungle. And then we're going to draw some lines, lines, and dots, dots. And there we have the jungle scene. Now we're going to color. I'm going to be stopping the video. Uh, I'm just going to show you how I like to color. I'm going to start it and then I'm going to stop while I color. So here, what I'm doing is that I'm tracing the pencil with marker. But I'm not going to color in with marker. I'm going to use the crayon for that. So for example, um, the beak of this bird, I trace the pencil with the marker, but I don't color it in. And I use the crayons for that. And that's why I break them up because I like to lay them down. And so now I'm coloring the sky blue, but I'm gonna leave the clouds white. And, um, but I use blue around it because I use blue for the sky. Over here, what color crayon am I going to use? I'm going to use orange because I used the orange marker. So now I'm using the orange crayon. All right, well, have fun coloring and I'll see you in a bit. So here is the finished colored drawing. There is the sun, palm tree, clouds, bird, tree, vine, flower, butterfly, llama, jaguar, grass. I hope you enjoyed drawing with me. All over the continent of America, tribes value animals and use them as virtues. They use these totem poles to symbolize their appreciation and link to them. Here is one that I made a bird and a monkey. And here are more ideas from Pinterest. You can also use uh, milk gallons here. They don't have gallons, but liters. So we're going to build um, totems with toilet paper rolls, pieces of paper, scissors, toilet paper rolls, and paper. And our markers, pencil, crayons, pencil sharpener, and eraser. You also need some tape, and you need some glue. Okay, so basically I'm, I'm, I've been drawing this face, and um, that's all that the totem animal will be. You just draw a face, and then I'm gonna make it three-dimensional by making the ears with cardboard. To make the ear, I drew it out like this because this part I will fold to glue. So you see here I have folded and I will put the glue here. Glue. Here's the monkey and I have hot glued pine cones for the hair. For the bird, I'm gonna do now a bird, and for the bird, I'm just going to cut pieces of paper like this. I will draw on the eyes, and then over here, just glue the pieces of paper. For the beak, I did the same as with the ears. I, I made a little flap that I will fold 
to glue. Okay, so I here is the bird. I have glued on a feather, feather, some crayon shavings, the beak, the eyes, and the little paper with the crayon shavings. And now what you can do is that we put them together. Totem pole. Totem pole.